darkness. Every Monday, Satan comes down on earth with his 24 elders and a lot of major accidents causing several deaths usually take place on Monday. And so every Monday, believers need to pray in, in the name of Jesus Christ against every work of, of, of the kingdom of darkness perpetrated by Lucifer or Satan and all his subordinate demons meant to bring destruction in every domain of life for the word of god says that the destroyer shall be destroyed as i chapter 33 verse 1 which says woe to you that spoils and in other words that destroy and to you that, that uh, and you were not you were not spoiled and deals treacherously and they dealt no treacherously with you when you shall cease to spoil, in other words, when you shall cease to destroy, you shall be spoiled. In other words, you shall be destroyed. And when you shall make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with you. And as the people of Israel were in Egypt in the time of Moses, and God did not allow the destroyer to come in their houses, so the believers should also pray that. Uh, asking God not to allow the, des the, the, the destroyer to, des to come into their house, their family, their marriage, their business, and their health, and their life, and, and whatsoever relates to them. As Exodus chapter 12 verse 23 says, For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptian, and when he sees the blood upon the lintel, and on the two side posts of the of, uh, the Lord will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. In other words, the, 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 the people of Israel put the blood of the lamb, which was a representation of the blood of Jesus Christ, upon the house and, and as as the destroyer saw it, he will not he will not come in the house. He did not come in the land of Goshen because of that mark of the land, the blood of Jesus Christ. So the people as well who need to use the blood of Jesus Christ that so that the, the God will not allow the destroyer to 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 attack them. And they should put the blood of Jesus Christ upon their life, upon their children, upon everything that belongs to them, the cars, the houses, the church, everything. So that the destroyer will not stop by them. The destroyer will not bring destruction in their life. Christians must pray also to ask God in the name of Jesus Christ to bring confusion and disharmony in the camp of the enemy during the, the hour of point of Lucifer so that his instruction and all his satanic incantation will not be understood nor carried out by all the subordinate demons and that they fight each other even as God set the sword of the army of the Madianites against each other. Judge chapter 7 verse 22 which says, And the three hundred blew the trumpet, and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host. And the host fled to Beth Shitha in Zerathath, Zerath, and to the border of Abel Meohla, unto Tabath. So we need to pray also in the name of Jesus Christ to bind all demons and other agents of darkness that are under the authority of Lucifer and cast them into the pit of hell even as Jesus Christ has given us the, uh, has given the believer the ability to do so. In Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 which says, this is Jesus speaking, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Christian need should pray in the name of Jesus Christ to neutralize every strategy set by Lucifer that are meant to steal, destroy, and kill. For the word of God says in John in First John chapter 3, verse 8, the second part of the verse, which says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Pray as well, asking God. In the name of Jesus Christ, to bring this in, to bring the to, to bring in disarray every gathering of the agent of darkness, meant to give worship to Lucifer, and also take time also to worship God appropriately. So we need to understand that the kingdom of darkness is at work also on Monday and on every day of the week, and on Monday. The devil himself, Satan himself, is at is in operation, is in command, 
and he, he the main theme is to bring destruction in every aspect of of, of the life of believe of, of people of human beings whether you are a believer or not so that's why we want to pray so repeat this prayer after me heavenly father i thank you you the only true god for teaching your word unto me in the name of jesus christ i pray unto your god in the name of jesus christ that you make a clear separation between us who are your people still being on earth and those who are not your people i declare that such separation is manifest in the name of jesus christ for we are not of this world even as you jesus christ are not of this world but we are of the kingdom of god we do not belong to this world but we belong to the heavenly kingdom of god as i kindly ask you heavenly father in the name of jesus christ that you keep us from the evil as we are still in this world i pray unto you oh god in the name of jesus christ that you make a clear distinction between us who are who have been declared righteous through our faith in christ jesus and those who are wicked make a clear distinction between us who serve you and those who do not may such distinction be in all areas of life in the name of jesus christ a distinction between the way we dress and the way the people of the world dress a distinction between the way we speak and the way the people of the world speak a distinction between the way we act and the way the people of the world act a distinction between the way we behave and the way the people of the world behave a distinction between the way we think and the way the people of the world think let it be so in the name of jesus christ and because we do not belong to this world but do, to the kingdom of god we are therefore called to return to where we are coming from hence i pray unto heavenly father that you prepare us for the day of the rapture causing us to walk in complete holiness making us to seek and be attached to the things which are, are, are from above the things from your kingdom in the name of jesus christ and i ask you heavenly father in the name of jesus christ that the same way you say the, the land of goshen where the people of israel dwell from the land from when they were in egypt in the time of moses from the plague of swarms and of, of flies and that you put a division between the your people and the people of egypt may you also save my house my family my business my marriage and, and and whatsoever relates to me whatsoever belongs to me from any plague that may come upon the world in the name of jesus christ and the same manner you spare the cattle of the people of israel from from death when they were in egypt in the time of moses may you also spare anything that belongs to me from any form of death that may strike the world in the name of jesus christ and the same way you saved the land of goshen where the people of israel dwell when they were in egypt in the time of moses from the plague of hell may you also spare me my, my house my family my business my marriage and whatsoever relate to me from any form of disaster that may befall upon the world in the name of jesus christ the same manner oh god you save the land of goshen where the people of israel dwell when they were in egypt in the time of moses from the plague of thick darkness may you also spare me my house my family my business my marriage and everything that belongs to me from any form of darkness that may fall upon the world in the name of jesus christ and the same way you put a difference between the people of israel and the egyptian when they were when the israelites were in egypt in the time of moses in such a way that it was the egyptian themselves who asked the people of israel to go out of egypt freely though they were the slaves may you also put so much difference between your people that we are and the people of the world in such a way that the people of the world would be the one asking you to remove us from your people from the world in another term they would be asking you for the rapture to take place for the return of jesus christ to take to occur let it be so oh god in the name of jesus christ i pray unto heavenly father that in the name of jesus christ you cause true churches of jesus christ all over the world to intensify their prayer on, on, on monday 
Let them have, O oh God, honor prayer. Let them have, O oh God, a chance of prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will you neutralize all the evil activities and operation of all the sects of the kingdom of darkness all over the world in Jesus Christ's name. May you also, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, neutralize all form of heaviness and any accident plan by the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I bound every work of the kingdom of darkness that is perpetrated by Lucifer and all his superintendent demons meant to bring destruction in every domain of life and i ask your god that you that they be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. for your word says that you will destroy that the destroyer shall be destroyed therefore let it be in the name of Jesus Christ. let them be destroyed in jesus christ's name and as the people of israel were in egypt and in the time of moses and that you did not allow the destroyer to come in their houses i pray also heavenly father that you do not allow the destroyer to come into my house my family, my marriage, my business, my health, my life, in anything that rests you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you bring confusion, this harmony in the camp of the enemy during the, the hour of point of Lucifer, so that his instruction and all his satanic incantation will not be understood nor carried out by all the superintendent demons, and that they fight each other, even as you said the word of the armies of the Mandianite against each other. Let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ. You say, O oh God, that whatsoever you shall burn on earth shall be burned in heaven, whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Therefore, I bound every demon and agent of darkness that are under the authority of Lucifer and cast them into the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, asking you, Heavenly Father, that you neutralize every strategy set by Lucifer to that, that is meant to steal, destroy, and kill. For your word says that for this purpose, the Son of God, even Jesus Christ, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Therefore, destroy every work of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm asking your God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you bring to desire every gathering of agents of darkness meant to give worship to, the, to Lucifer. And I thank you, God. I bless you and I exalt you. I glorify you, the only true God, the everlasting God, the almighty God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, you who never change, you reign above all things. Receive all the adoration forever and ever. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for answering me and granting all my requests in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive all the glory and honor forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.